For the first time ever, Jared and I reported another passenger on board a cruise ship because what they did was so dangerous. Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Jordan and this is JJ Cruise. Thank you so much for clicking into the channel today. Today, I am coming to you all the way from beautiful Spain. Jared and I recently got on a plane out of Florida and flew across the water to Barcelona where we will be taking a cruise very soon. We actually have quite a few European adventures coming up here this summer. So if you like cruising, you want to learn a lot about Europe, you're definitely going to want to follow those. But today we're talking about something a little bit different. We're talking about what happens when passengers do very dangerous things on board cruise ships, specifically when they throw hazardous items overboard while on cruise ships. Now, before we get into the story, I do just want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. Um, it is something that is free to you. It means the world to us. We are hundreds of subscribers away from our goal of 40,000 subscribers. And let me tell you, it is going to be a big old celebration when we hit that 40K subscriber number. Something else that you can do to help us out is hit the like button. That is something that does tell YouTube you like what you see and it pushes our content out to new uh, subscribers and new people here on YouTube. I know that you normally see both Jared and I on camera. We just got off of our eight night cruise, which was our group cruise and his voice is still kind of coming back. We did have a really good time on that group cruise. We've got more space on our upcoming group cruises. If you are interested in those, you can head over to jjcruise.com to find out all the information and pricing of our upcoming group cruises in 2024. So like I said, today's story is all about what happens when passengers throw dangerous or hazardous items overboard. In the past, I've seen things like towels go overboard, people's clothes, even a chair fly off of a cruise ship. Sometimes these things are thrown overboard on purpose and other times, of course, the wind can take them and push them off of the ship by accident. But in today's case, unfortunately, it was someone that intentionally did throw something off of the ship. Now, throwing things off the ship is not only illegal, but can be very dangerous to you and everyone else that you're traveling. So this video is more of a PSA of something not to do if you're ever on a cruise ship, because we're starting to wonder if people don't actually know that this is or can be very harmful. I'm going to start off here by talking about something that happened on board a princess ship back in 2006. You may have forgotten that there was a princess ship that had a very serious fire on board the ship. And it was because someone was smoking a cigarette and threw a lit cigarette off of their balcony. Now, when this person did this act of throwing the cigarette off the balcony, they didn't happen to think about the wind. When you are moving full speed in a cruise ship or, or any type of vessel on the water, you are going often against the wind. Once the wind hits the item that you've thrown overboard, it can often fly back on the ship. And that unfortunately is what happened to that princess ship in 2006. The cigarette came back on board and then it just caught fire and there was a really bad fire on board that ship. Let's get into what we saw and witnessed here last week aboard the Celebrity Equinox. Our group cruise was an eight night cruise to the Southern Caribbean. We went to the ABC Islands with two sea days on the front and two sea days on the back of the itinerary. On the second to last day of the cruise, Jared and I decided to take ourselves out to deck five and sit in some comfortable chairs and watch the sun go down. We were very lucky. We had some beautiful weather on this sailing and coming back to Florida, the weather was just gorgeous. So we're sitting there really taking in the views, watching the water, watching the sun, having a conversation when a gentleman walks out, says hi to us, goes back inside, and then about five minutes later comes back out again. I'm kind of like, what is this guy up to? Well, then he decided to light a cigarette. Now, what was strange about the situation was there were smoking sections all over the ships, and most ships do have many or multiple smoking sections. Where we were sitting was not one. He lit up his cigarette, and he's kind of puffing away, 
we just kind of look at each other. We're like, well, this doesn't really bother us. And we're the only two people out here. So we're not going to say anything. As he's smoking, we're sitting there chit-chatting. And then all of a sudden we see him do something that I would classify makes you a very bad cruiser. He takes his lit cigarette and he throws it overboard the ship. He then runs back inside before we can say something to him, but without even talking to each other, we both jumped up and ran after him inside. I'm not sure exactly where he went, but we decided to go straight to security to report exactly what had just happened. We'd already known what had happened on board the Princess ship, but we've heard other stories of ships catching fire from rogue cigarettes going overboard. And so we thought that it was very important that security are aware of the situation, both so they can act if, you know, God forbid, the cigarette did come back on the ship, but also that they could catch the guy on the act on camera. Most ships are full of security cameras. And if you do throw something overboard, there is a very strong chance that you will get caught. We talked to security. They thanked us for explaining the situation. And they said, we're definitely going to find out who this was. And then we kind of went on our way. Now, lucky for us, it doesn't seem like the cigarette came back on board. There was no fires or no issues. But just in the chance that, like I said, something like that could have happened, we thought that it was very important to report it right away. Now, if you are a smoker, I just want to ask you, and you can respond in the comments, is this something that happens often? Because outside of hearing from this happen on, happening on other ships, it was actually the first time that we've ever seen this occur while we were sitting there in real time. If it is something that happens frequently, I do just want to encourage everyone out there to speak up when it happens because it is something that is highly, highly dangerous. Like I said, both to you and the thousands of other people that are on board. If you haven't seen a cigarette butt go overboard, have you seen anyone ever throw anything off the ship? You all are really good at having healthy dialogues in the comments, so I open up the comments section to you to talk about times when you have seen things or items go overboard voluntarily or involuntarily <laughs> overboard into the ocean. If you've seen anything, if you've heard anything, definitely drop a comment below and let us know. Also, do you agree with me? Am I making something really big out of nothing here? From our perspective, we actually think that this is a pretty big deal. But let us know in the comments if you agree with us or disagree with us. Thank you again for watching. Again, this was more of a PSA to all of my fellow cruisers out there. We appreciate you watching today. And until next time, see ya. Change.